Stigma. Lack of access. Difficulty with insurance. Transphobia. Competing priorities like housing, lack of food, or unemployment. Racism and unconscious bias from providers. These are just some of the challenges responsible for current HIV-related health disparities. We are increasing the percentage of persons living with HIV who know their status, are linked to care, cheat viral suppression, and reducing death rates. Although there have been decline in HIV diagnosis for women, people who inject drugs, and heterosexuals, the epidemic among gay and bisexual men and transgender communities remains severe. The National HIV AIDS Strategy, or NHAS, updated to 2020, has become the roadmap for collective action in the United States. NHAS has four goals. Reducing new HIV infections, improving access to care and health outcomes, reducing HIV-related health disparities, and achieving a coordinated national response. In order to achieve these goals, social determinants of health, such as stigma, discrimination, education level, and geographic region must be addressed. HIV is a public health priority with large-scale impact and known strategies to address it. CDC funds the Capacity Building Assistance Provider Network to provide free program services to the HIV prevention workforce. We help to strengthen the workforce to achieve the goals of the National HIV AIDS Strategy. We work with health departments, community-based organizations, and healthcare organizations to provide free training, technical assistance, consultation, and information. Capacity Building Assistance focuses on high-impact HIV prevention designed to achieve greater success with federal HIV prevention dollars. If you're a person living with HIV, you might be struggling with a variety of factors beyond just prevention or treatment of HIV. If you are unstably housed and or unemployed, these are all issues that we as providers and as health departments and as community partners need to be thinking about if we want to have a comprehensive approach to the epidemic. As a street outreach worker, I get to work with the trans community and get to hear what their experiences are um, with accessing services. And some of them don't have a medical provider who understands where they're coming from, the experiences they're, that they're going through, the language to use, the correct pronouns to use for them. Trans-specific, culturally competent care is very important. I know of an instance where a client just walked out of a clinic because she refused to be counted as a men who have sex with men category when asked about her sexual partners. I'm afraid the message she took home was, I don't count. HIV related disparities that I see in the work that we do often have to do with stigma. So where do I go in my community where people don't know me or don't know this about me or can't find it out about me because that's where I showed up. We seek to create community where we bring together Black, African-American, gay men to define and design what community means for them. We seek to do that in non-traditional ways by meeting in unconventional uh, venues such as someone's home, a restaurant, a barbershop, without this feeling of a health filter over top of it. When it comes to working with American Indian and Alaskan Native communities, it's important to realize that each of these communities have a specific language, have a specific culture, have a specific ceremony and religion. Recognizing that the relationship that capacity building assistance providers can have with Native communities has to be based on trust, has to be based on humility, and has to be a long-term relationship that you want to establish and to maintain. Within our National Capacity Building Assistance Provider Network, a portion of our efforts are focused on examining and addressing social determinants of health that create implicit and explicit barriers to HIV prevention and care. Many of these are experienced on a larger structural and policy level as well and can really exacerbate stigma that is experienced by many communities. Our services help providers make practice changes, create supportive policies and protocols, and to develop interventions that not only focus on the individual, but also on the provider, the organizations, and the community.
We can help achieve the National HIV AIDS Strategy Goals and reduce HIV-related disparities. The United States will become a place where new HIV infections are rare. When they do occur, every person, regardless of age, gender, race or ethnicity, sexual orientation, gender identity, or socioeconomic circumstance, will have unfettered access to high-quality, life-extending care free from stigma and discrimination.